What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to be showing you how to create vector smart objects and then bring them over into Photoshop for editing. There are a lot of advantages to doing this, but one of the great things about it is that you can create your effects in Photoshop and then if you need to edit those vector smart objects back in Illustrator, you can easily do that. So let's jump into Illustrator and get started. All right, so we're here in Illustrator and I have my text laid out on my artboard. If you get this reference, then you and I can be friends. When it comes to type, it's a lot easier to get it exactly how you want it in Illustrator and then bring it over into Photoshop. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to make sure I got this selected. I'm going to copy it and then we're going to go into Photoshop and then paste it. And if you're wanting this to be a smart object, make sure that you paste it as a smart object. And you can scale this however you want to. You can even rotate it if you want to. It really doesn't matter, but I'm just going to leave it as standard for right now. Okay, so if you notice over here in the layers panel, this actually is labeled vector smart object and you can change this to whatever you want. I'm just going to rename it to the initials of what I have written down here. Now we can go in and change this by double clicking on the layer. And there's a lot of things that you can do with this. Let's go ahead and set a color overlay and we'll change this to blue. You can even add a bevel and emboss here to get a real retro look. You can add drop shadows, you can add outer glows. All right, so that's looking nice and ugly. However, this isn't really the point. The point is to show you that you can easily go back and edit this if you want to, and it'll keep all of those same effects that we just applied to it. So in order to do this, all you have to do is double click on the smart object thumbnail, and you'll notice that it brings you right back into Illustrator, and you can change this to something else. So we've changed our text, and all we have to do is save it, and when we go back into Photoshop, you can see that it's updated. So as you can imagine, there are a lot of uses for this. I use this all the time when I'm putting together my posters. I just find that it's so much easier and a lot cleaner to let Illustrator handle all of my text and then also a lot of other vector smart objects. And then I just pull them into Photoshop and apply the effects there. You can also use vector smart objects within Photoshop itself. So I'll move this text out of the way and I'm gonna hit U on my keyboard and just draw a square. We're gonna change the fill to this red. I'm gonna turn the stroke off. And then all you have to do is right click and click on convert to smart object. So this is where our smart object is placed, but the smart object itself actually lies within the thumbnail. So we can go in here and change this color to blue. We can also do something like an inner bevel and hit okay. And if we hit save and go back, you can see that it updates here. Anyway, that's just the basics and how to use smart objects in both Illustrator and Photoshop. There are so many things that you can use this for. So get started in creating your own vector smart objects. It'll make your workflow so much smoother. I hope I taught you something today, either in Illustrator or Photoshop. If you like this video, please hit like and subscribe and also click the bell for notifications to be notified of all future content. Thanks a lot for watching and subscribing and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.